Good morning. Sincere apologies for bringing the program a little behind schedule. This is due to issues beyond our control. Well, we're glad we're here and able to bring you headlines in our newspaper review. My name is Felicity Eze. We can have with me Dr. Femi Idowu Adekoke, Public Affairs Analyst. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we'll start with the Punch newspaper. Uh, we have Bene Niger. Haven't met our conditions. That's on border closure by the federal government. Um, that's it on your screen. You have uh, 296 illegal immigrants arrested, 3.5 billion Naira good seized. Bene's $30 million rise in port will end up in Nigeria. That, according to the minister. We also have um, Asu Branches Meet say no going back. That's on IPPIS. Um, we also see AGS agreement shields ex customs boss Deco from trial. That's court. Jonathan Knox Alamido denies betraying bias a PDP. If you go to the bottom of the page, uh, you will see. Stories and one dead as guards, OPC members clash over woman. We also have cops of taxi driver murdered by passenger found. All the headlines here. Um, a winner's pastor arraigned for stealing churches ninety um, thousand dollars, four point five million naira. Uh, let's uh, look at some of these headlines uh, with you for a moment. Okay. Uh, the one on border closure that yeah. Bene and Niger are yet to meet uh, conditions. Well, that's uh, we're back at it again. The border closure, we know it has uh, both uh, pros and cons. The benefits are there, but now we're saying Benin and Niger have not met our conditions. Yeah, they're a sovereign nation. We, we need to realize that. For them, too, they will have to look at the impact of what we're giving to them before they But I still say that as a country, we need to put our border in shape, put a right process in place so that we can curb or minimize the influx of what we don't want in our system. Like, uh, I think in that headline, it says about three point something million... Uh, Billion goods have been goods seized. from the Republic of Nair will end up in Nigeria. We should put a system in place that will not permit such to end up in Nigeria. Because they might not necessarily agree with us. Because Nigeria is, because of our population, we feed their economy. And they have to look in what, what they can do. So it's going to take them a while before they can agree. We cannot outmuscle them. We have to look at our own system and put the right thing in place. Uh, th this one on create structure for special courts. Buhari tells judges that they had a conference and that's one of the things that he said to them. Do we really need special courts or just to fine tune what we have? Yeah, we, I think we've discussed this here before. Um, I'm neither here nor there on this one. And I will explain why. The reason is, the present judiciary system that we have, there's so much delay. And I guess Mr. President is pushing for this special court to be able to prosecute the uh, corruption uh, cases. Because he's come on the back of um, anti-corruption. And he wants to see those corruption cases to conclusion, even before he leaves in the next four years. That is why I will agree on that, because we have so many cases that are pending and we, are, we don't bring anything to conclusion. Okay, we have this one as well on um, a winner's pastor arraigned for stealing church's funds. This is not the first time we're hearing such stories. I'll just exactly. uh, pick your thoughts on it. Well, it, it brings me back to what I said, uh, our system. We blame our leaders, we blame the government, but the truth is, who are we? We need to ask ourselves that question. The citizens are the problem. Look at the, the church pastor that is being uh, entrusted with money and people's faith. Look at what is going on. As a people, we need to do something different. All right, we'll move on to the Guardian newspaper now. And a big one there is Nigerian investors should pay more for U.S. permanent residency. Uh, that's it on your screen. You have a rider. Charge reviewed from $500,000 to $900,000. Who citizens abroad to invest? Estate agents urge federal government. 
And then we have the National Youth Service Corps members on the front page as well. Um, reps push for 50% female lawmakers. Reps may pass financial bill authenticating VAT increase tomorrow. And then we have IYC tells National Assembly to ignore budget from NDDC interim board. Lagos, where residents live in dread of flooding. And then we also have something again on investment. Um, 1.98 trillion naira investment gap cripples uh, telephony services. Let's look at the screamer here. Yeah, Nigerian yeah. investors to pay more for US permanent uh, residents. So. Yeah, that's a, that's a country that has process. And they have a system that works. If you want to move to the United States on permanent residency and you want to be an investor, there's a certain amount of investment you have to make. Maybe, or maybe not, they found that, that they do their, uh, their researches, they found that people are meeting that uh, Requirement. requirements and there are more people coming in. So they have to push Find it up it. so that they can reduce the influx. And that's where the system works. The, the, the amount of Nigerians that keep leaving this country, does it worry you really? We look like we don't have money, but to leave this country costs a whole lot more. Yes, but I agree with you. I've left it before and I'm, I'm back. But the problem is people leave Nigeria not because of what is happening now. It's because of hope. Because they cannot see hope in the country. And with what is happening around us, it's as if we're going backward rather than going forward. I returned back to Nigeria because I felt we're moving forward and I'm back here. But there are people who have never gone outside and they don't understand the intricacies out there. But they hear different stories and they want to go and experience it. I, for one, no one will fix Nigeria for us. So why are you leaving? We should stay here and fix this country. I hope a lot more. I, I wish rather that a lot more Nigerians will think in that way. But let's look at another headline here. Reps push for 50% female lawmakers. Can they really push, considering that these positions are elective positions? Nigerians have to choose to put 50% of female lawmakers in the House. Uh, uh, Felicity, I have to agree with you with what you said. Can they force people or can they push? But the truth is that we already have certain laws that permit either 30 or 40 percent. Yeah. The question is, have we met that? You, need, you don't just jump from A to B if you don't understand A. We've not met that one and you want to increase it. But it just tells us about our politicians. I don't, personally, I don't feel anybody voted for them. I've said it here before, we don't have democracy. What we have is conspired with federalism or dictatorship. All these people get themselves in there by money. I, I read a news this morning about an ex-governor asking for his monthly allowance or pension from the state. 10 million naira monthly. That's only around 20 million every year for an, an ex-governor. And there are people living in poverty in the country. Even in that state. I don't know how the state is going to be missing that. It's not only one state, it's across the board. So is that for the people? And then we sit down and not talk about it as a nation. And then it's, it's, it's sad. We don't have representatives. They're there to represent themselves. Your quick thought on this uh, Lagos where residents live in dread of flooding. I know what that means. Yeah, well, as an environmentalist, in as much as we can blame the government provision, I blame the people as well. Because there are areas that are we're called floodplains. And in Lagos, we know Lagos has a minimal land space. Lagos is said to be by 2050, will be underwater. So now, we have people who go and build where they're not supposed to build. And then back to government, we have people who give approval for such. So it's a both way things. The corruption that are sitting deep into us is leading, and then bad sanitation as well. These are the causes of flood. 
Okay, I'm, I'm told we have uh, about uh, three minutes uh, to wrap things up. So we'll just take a quick look at the uh, Nation newspaper. Jonathan Lamido lied on my role in buyouts of poll. Now, the former president has been in the news lately with accusation and counter accusations against him about his role um, in the polls. Now he's talking about somebody lying about his role. Ex president denies link to $1.6 billion Malabu scandal. PDB should probe why it lost. That's what he is advising them to do. Um, quickly, just take your thoughts on that. Because I, I think we're really short well, of time. Well, I have to stand with uh, the former president here. There, this, he has a freedom of expression of whoever he wants to vote for. He's perceived that he's voted for the opposition. And there's a, there must be a reason for that. That means if the, the, uh, the house cannot stand, if they're not in unity. So that means PDP, like you said, they need to check themselves. What have we done wrong to lose a state that we've controlled for 20 years? So okay. Six held over killing of Kogi PDP woman. Um, we also have this one that says, APC governors should pay minimum wage, says uh, Oshomole. Uh, do you think that's enough push to get them to pay the national minimum wage? Well, he, he, as a national chairman, he's within his profit to Tell them that, yes, just to make the party. Uh, but the problem is, can they afford it? Do they have the means? That's, that's, a, that's a challenge, yeah. All right. Um, this uh, woman leader that was killed, I mean, now we know that some persons have, have been, been arrested, arrested and they are undergoing interrogation. But do you see a conclusion on this case? Because this is not the first we've Th had. Thank you very much. That's it. what I was going to say. It's good enough. Under two weeks, people have been picked up, arrested, interrogation going on, investigation going on. But are we going to get this to a logical conclusion? Are we going to get people, uh, people pay for the death of the woman? But I guess this might come to a conclusion because uh, I think it was yesterday. The president, the president has uh, put his word in. So that might make it Happen a better faster. situation. Yeah. All right, I guess that's where we have to leave it for now. Thank you very much for coming on the program. You're welcome. All right, and thank you for watching. That's it and off the press this Tuesday morning. We'll be back again tomorrow, fresh with all the headlines in the papers just for you. Stay tuned to Plus TV Africa.